Over 250 parts are produced here, cataloged, and then collected to move to the key making bench. The surface of each key is refined by filing, sanding, or dressing with a wheel. And it usually takes a couple of passes, and the challenge is to maintain that flat surface all the way across. Flux is applied to the key prior to soldering. It acts as a cleaning agent and it helps the solder flow around the joint. A small amount of material is removed from the tube and then the key is checked on the instrument to see if it's aligned over the tone hole. Uh, these keys have been uh, prepared with the beige wheel and we're slotting them open um, so they can be slipped onto tubing. The finger button is positioned onto the top of the cup and soldered. This is an F-sharp key that's been completed. Um, it, it is uh, positioned on the uh, right-hand steel, and we're preparing to drill through it so we can install a tapered pin so the uh, key is essentially permanently installed on the steel. See, the spring catch is the smallest part on the flute and I'll do this by adding solder to the spring catch and then dropping it onto the tube. This is our thumb key. Um, we have the thumb wing and the thumb lever soldered to one piece of undersized tubing and we keep it undersized so that we those small pieces of tubing are nice and tight on the flute. Place the cup on a plug and then on the tone hole. It's a tight fit to hold it in place and then we attach the key. key is soldered in place like this. Upon completion of the key work, all keys are checked to be perfectly level, centered over the tone hole. Corrections are noted on a quality control sheet as needed. Check to see that all the keys are dropping easily. The flute is now ready for padding and finishing.